Today there's been a very important judgment, uh, the first one under the Torture and Custodial Death Prevention Act. That act was passed seven years ago and this is the first time we've had a judgment. It relates to the killing of Johnny, a young man in a police station, Pallavi police station in Dhaka, six years ago. The case was filed by his brother Rocky, who was himself taken into custody by the police uh, and also tortured in that police station. And Rocky has won this long, hard battle that he's fought over the last six years to get justice for his brother. Uh, today the court has ordered that the three police officers concerned uh, be given life sentences and the two police informers who assisted them in these acts of torture have also been given custodial sentences. Uh, the police officers have also been ordered to give compensation uh, to Johnny's family and to his dependents. Um, this, this is an important first as well that compensation is being given by a court under a, a legal provision for acts of torture. So I think today is an important day because it, it marks an important step forward in getting accountability for acts of custodial torture by the police. Uh, this is only one such instance which is before the courts. There are many more that haven't even reached the courts where people have been too frightened even to come to seek any kind of relief. But Rocky was brave enough to come forward. He had to fight many battles. Initially, the police wouldn't accept the case that he and his mother wanted to file. They even filed counter cases against Rocky to try and dissuade him from pursuing justice. Later on, they even went to the High Court um, and managed to delay the process for some time over there. But now, finally, after six years, at least they won this first important judgment. They'll have a battle still to fight. But I think this, this is a moment um, that we need to record and recognize that at least the law finally has, has worked in the way that it should. There are many limitations, there are many problems, there are many challenges left, but, but this, is, this is something positive that has happened today and it's a real mark and tribute of um, the courage of, of Johnny's family that they've pursued justice this far.